this is going to be an introduction to polynomials. Okay, you're going to see polynomials a lot in algebra. Let me explain what polynomials are. In algebra, you're going to see a lot of expressions such as 2x plus 5 or x plus 3 minus y or 5 times x divided by 4, something like this. So these are all types of algebraic expressions. And these are all also considered to be polynomials because they have, they don't just consist of a number, but they have different terms, different terms or different parts. Let me actually underline these with a different color. They have different parts inside the expression. So how do we differentiate the terms? So terms are separated by addition or subtraction, and they are combined by multiplication or division. So think of multiplication and division as kind of like the glue that sticks the numbers and the letters together. And think of addition and subtraction as commas. They separate, they separate the terms from each other. So if you look on the left here, this is one term. The 2 and the x are combined by multiplication. So this is one term, and this is another term. Okay, this is another term. So we have two terms here, one, two, and these two terms are separated by this addition symbol. If this addition was not addition, but if it was multiplication in the middle, then that would mean the whole thing would be one term because the multiplication will combine these two. But since it's addition, we have two different terms here. If you uh, look on the bottom one here, we have one term here, and then we have an addition that separates the terms. We have another term. We have subtraction that separates the terms. And we have the third term. If you look on the last one, the, they have multiplication here and division here, which means that they're all combined together where multiplication and division combines the terms. So this is just one term. This is one big term. And whenever you see um, a polynomial with just one term, these have special names. When they have one term, that is called a monomial. Mono means one. And this one, they have two terms. This is a binomial. Bi means two. And the middle one has three terms. And this is called a trinomial. Tri means three. So the terms with one terms, two terms, and three terms have special names. But if they have four or more, ter more terms, then four or more terms, we just call them polynomial. Okay, so that's what polynomials are. And that's uh, the basic terminology associated with polynomial. Uh, now let's focus on one of these terms. Let's focus on the 2x we have right here. Let me actually erase the other ones here. I'm going to be learning some more terminology associated with, with polynomial. 
two x, and let's actually give a, a little exponent to the third power. The number in the front of this term, this number, so the all the terms either have a number or a letter or both. In this case, they have both. And the number is always written before the letter. So you write the number, you don't write, usually don't write it like this. You write the number first. And the number in the front is called the coefficient. So the, that number is called the coefficient. And when we have multiple terms, so let's say we have that plus 4x plus 5. So in this case, we have three terms. And each of the terms either has an x, uh, has a letter or it doesn't have a letter. And each letter has a specific power. In this case, this one has a power of 1. This one has a power of 3. So inside the polynomial, the letter with the biggest power, so in this case it's 3, or the biggest power attached to a letter, this is called, well I shouldn't, I shouldn't write this so that it overlaps the coefficient. I'll write it over here. This is called the degree of the polynomial. Okay, so when you say the degree of a polynomial, it means the biggest power of a letter in that polynomial. So in this case, for this polynomial, the degree will be 3. If I have another polynomial, the degree for this one will be 2, because that's the biggest power of a letter in that polynomial. Or if I have a monomial like that, the degree for this would be 4. Okay, that's the biggest power of that monomial. And when you write a polynomial, like, like I did here or here, you write the, the term with the biggest power first. Okay, so here this was the term with the biggest power. It had a power of 2. This has a power of 1, and this has a power of 0. X, this is actually x to the 0th power, and there's no x. So you write the biggest power first, and then the next biggest power, and then the next biggest power. You can see the same thing here. I wrote the biggest power first, and then the next biggest, and then the next biggest. So usually the last term in a polynomial uh, is going to have no letter. Unless, um, unless the the one with the letter is the least has the least power. And this term, uh, the term that has no letter, the term that has no letter, both of these have a term that has no letter. This term is called the constant. The constant term. Okay, the term that has no letter is called a constant term. Uh, for this one, it doesn't have a constant term because this is the only term and this term has a letter. And I guess I should also tell you that instead of saying letters, um, just start using the name variables. That is much more commonly used in algebra, variables. So when I say variables, I mean letters like x or n or a or b, things like that. Variables means that it can change. So I can put in uh, different numbers in for x. Okay, so when you hear variables, it means letters. When you hear constant, it means numbers, just numbers. Okay, before I close uh, this lesson, I'd like to go over one last concept when it comes to polynomials. And that is the concept of same terms. Some terms are considered the same 
while others are not considered to be the same. So when I say same terms, or when we say same terms in, in algebra, it means that the two terms have the same variable Remember, var oops. variable. Remember, by variable we mean letters. Has the same variable raised to the same power. So the variable is raised to the same power. So let's say I, I have a term like this: three x and three y. Are these two terms considered to be the same? And the answer would be no, because it has the same number, but it doesn't have the same letter, or it doesn't have the same variable. This has x, this has y, so these are not like terms. How about here? 4x and 7x, are these the same terms? These have the same variables, but they have different numbers, but the numbers don't really matter. We're not really concerned about the numbers. We're just concerned about the variables when we determine if they have, if they are the same terms. So in this case, this is, or these two are same terms. They have the same variable and they're both raised to the power of one. If we have something like this, Are these the same terms? They have the same letter, but they have different powers. This has a power of two, this has a power of one. Remember, if there's no number, that means there's a one there. So that means these are not the same terms. To be the same terms, you need to have the same, the same number or the same variable raised to the same power. So this is kind of a, a trick question here. 6 and 11. Do you think these are the same terms? So remember I said that numbers don't really matter. We just need to look at the letters or the variable. But both of these terms don't have variables. Whenever you see a constant term, so these are both constant terms, always picture that there's a variable there. Just like when you see just a variable, you have to picture that there's a power of 1 there, even though we don't specifically write 1. So both of these terms, they are, there is actually a variable. There's an x here, but it's raised to the 0th power. It's raised to the 0th power, so all constant terms actually have a variable, but it's raised to the 0th power. And because x raised to the 0th power is just 1, and that's just 6 times 1, that's just just becomes 6. The same here. x to the 0th power is 1, so that's 11 times 1, which is just 11. So putting an x to the 0th power to both of these are not going to change the value of the numbers. So now that I've written the variables here, you can see that both variables, they have the same variable, and they're raised to the same power. So these are, in fact, same terms. And I'll make a note here. This is actually going to be true for all constant terms. All constant terms are same terms. Okay, because they all have a variable to the power of 0. Okay, so that's how you can differentiate uh, same terms from different terms. And this has been the basic, or I've gone through the basic concepts in this lesson of introduction to polynomials.